That proportional element of the test is critical. It's important. All right? Every corner you take, there's no law that supports a random stop. Because the constitutional and the Oaks test speaks to that for it for the uh, for the infringement to be demonstrably justified, then the the, the the attorney general or whoever you sue, if you sue the counsel personally, they would have to demonstrate that their actions and or the law that they used to assert this power was necessary. In other words, was proportional. And by proportional, we are saying that it means that there was no less intrusive way than what was done to infringe on the constitutionally protected right. Thank you, Wallace. Still the thumbs up. All right? So let's move forward. We'll get into claim form shortly. We have a little time here, all right? Now, I've started to share some of the public interaction policy. I'm reading right now, all right? So just give me a second. And I'm going to share a few more before I jump into the claim form. Because I said, this, is a, this policy is important for the public to be aware of. Last time we met, we talked about stop and search. And we looked at the policy. It takes given down. We looked at all those elements. All right? Um, yes, um, OMG, Colin, you can comply. It is your constitutional right to waive a right if you want. I am not telling anybody that they can't. If you feel like you want, you can. It's your right. For those who don't wish to, because without rights, they were slaves then, again, it is their right to assert their right. Because the law is, if you fail to assert your right timely, you have waived it. That's called acquiescing. Yes, guys. Acquiescing is, is a legal term for silent mean consent. In my old time days, when you say silent mean consent, you know, there's, a legal provision, there's a legal term for it. It's called acquiesce. You have acquiesce. There are some people call acquiescing. Acquiesce. You remain silent, fully being aware of what's going on. The law says, your consent. So don't just keep your mouth shut. All right? So let's look at some of the policies here. And then we jump, move forward. All right, one second. One second. All right, so in the public interaction policy, there is a in the beginning of it, there is an ethical assessment test that is in there. And it says like this. So the, the concept of, it's like almost a, a, something you must tell yourself every day when it's not a true, yes? The assessment test says, am I acting out of anger, authority, power, or sound knowledge of my job? You must answer that question before I do anything or when I interact with the public. Next part. Is my action necessary, proportional, legal, or human? You see how this come back in the interaction policy, the proportional, something we talked about a while ago? Yes? So the second thing in the ethical assessment test say, is my action necessary, proportional, legal, or humane? You see? Once a workplace policy acknowledge this thing, you know. Who is you see not to follow? So, again, I'm just hoping that the constables who are on here are those who, you know, no constables, understand what I'm saying. That the necessary and propor necess proportional is equivalent to necessary. That's a part of it. Necessity. And proportional, I say, is there a less intrusive way when you ask yourself if something is proportional, you have to ask yourself, is there a less intrusive way that I could infringe on this right? In other words, is there something else we could do if we want randomly stop, you know, vehicle we don't know pattern in it, yeah? Yes. Just stand up and observe an offense like when they do the tree. As they catch us doing offense, they run them for you. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Next one. Would I do it if my family was standing beside me? Next question there to ask themselves. Can I live with this for the rest of my life? Next question. Is it worth my job and my career? Next question. What would I do if I were being videotaped? Enough people realize that the police and like get videotaped because them. <laughs> Who 
would my loved one be proud or ashamed? Am I following the four standards? How did I do today? So that is the police ethical assessment test that they are to tell, uh, make every time them feel like them about the sun. If I stop a vehicle. The ethics and integrity now. Again, this is coming from the from the Ethics and Integrity Policy 2011. As a member of the Constabulary Force, you are required to conduct your role and responsibilities with integrity and transparency. Uphold ethical standards, confidentiality, professionalism, and human rights. Avoid unethical and corrupt.